Spring River State Park, in a deep hole just below the fish hatchery, rumors kept rising. Stories of big fish, dark shapes, ghosts in the depths. Could they be monster rainbow trout? Lunkers escape from the hatchery, living out their years safe in that bottomless pool. They were just stories, really. Until August 14, 2004. So this pool is always full of uh, rumors and legends of big fish in the depths of the pool behind me. It's, it's pretty deep and you can't see very well in there and, and there's definitely some big fish hiding out of there. The lucky angler that hit the jackpot that day was Jason Harper of Neosho, Missouri. He was ecstatic about it. That's all he talked about. He was jumping up and down. He was really happy to catch the fish. The Roaring River Fish Hatchery was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the early 1900s. For over a century, these stone buildings and raceways have produced hundreds of thousands of rainbow trout to the delight of many a Missouri angler. So, if you do catch a potential record-breaking fish, it's real handy to have a hatchery right next door. The father and son team of Marvin and Brad Farwell had the certified scale ready. Well, we got, we got information somebody had a big fish on it. Now, how long he had it on, I'm not sure, but probably 20, 30 minutes. So in that time, he gathered quite a crowd. Could have been 50 people around out there watching him. Yeah, and usually when somebody tells you that there's a big fish on, you're, you're thinking a 5 to 10 pound fish. You don't think it's an 18 pound state record, potentially. Well, when the scale got up to 18 pound in an ounce, we were just like, everybody was excited. And the guy that caught it, he didn't know, you know, that he had a state record until we told him. And then he was cloud nine. Very excited. Jason Harper's 18 pound, one ounce Missouri state record for rainbow trout has held for over a decade. The question is, just what else is lurking in that deep hole? Well, the larger trout become big just over time. The, the lifespan of a rainbow trout is 10 years or a little over that. So we can assume that fish would have been upwards seven, eight years old, maybe a little older. As we speak, there's probably a big trout laying in down there under those falls because we've had several back-to-back -back floods. We've lost some fish out of the pool. So that next eight record's probably laying right down under those falls. It's no secret. We told you right where to look. So grab your fishing pole and get on out there. <laughs> I think you should absolutely get a fishing pole anytime you can fish, but I think that there's a good possibility there could be another state record out there. <laughs>